Greetings. It is the 5th, or this devotion is for the 5th of, of September. Our reading for this day comes from the 23rd chapter of Matthew, verses 29 through 36. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you build the tombs of the prophets and decorate the graves of the righteous, and you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have taken part with them in the shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus you testify against yourselves that you are descendants of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of your ancestors, you snakes, you brood of vipers, how can you escape being sentenced to hell? Therefore I send you prophets, sages, and scribes, some of whom you will kill and crucify, and some you will flog in your synagogues and pursue from town to town, so that upon you may come the righteous blood shed on earth from the blood of the righteous Abel to the blood of Zechariah, son of Barakai, whom you murdered between the sanctuary and the altar. Truly I tell you, all this will come upon this generation. So, this is a difficult piece. <clears throat> it, it, it just is. And, and this, is, this is often called um, Jesus' laments. It, it happens just before his his last days um he has entered jerusalem for the last time and 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 he is kind of almost knowing what's coming in the future knowing that in many ways they aren't going to come to get an understanding of what he's been trying so hard to help them understand it it it's an incredible poignant lament, especially from Jesus, especially to hear some of the things that he says. Now, we can, the other, the other piece here that, that kind of reads through is is that he also knows, and, I, and, and personally, I think this is at the heart of his lament, that as they are focusing on all these other things, no matter who it might be, and not focusing on God, what they're missing is, is the joy, the peace, the love that God offers. Oh, kind of focusing over here on on I am I would never have done what the righteous I am more uh, what the what the people did to the prophets before me I am more righteous than that or whatever it might have been focuses away from being a child of God and in doing so they live a difficult life because that never works certainly the message is, is is hopefully clear to us in that sense there are always things that will try to distract us and pull us away from God and God's message always some of these things aren't necessarily bad in and of themselves. But, but if it pulls us from God, it's not okay. Right? It, it, is, it is we find real joy, inner peace, understanding, true happiness when we focus our lives first on God. It's what gets us through what we're in right now. It's what builds wonderful relationships with other people. 
It's what gives us joy. God first. Everything else second. Let us pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly God, help us, direct us, encourage us to take time to focus on you. Help us to know that it is our relationship with you, our time with you, our priority of you that gives life meaning and joy. Heavenly God, there are so many things rumbling around in our world, no less in our country. We do lift before you those suffering from disaster, those putting their lives back together because of Hurricane Laura, and dear God, those who continue to suffer because of the fires in the West. We pray, dear God, an end to the fires, protection of those on the front line, and peace for those who must rebuild. Heavenly God, we do pray for a country in a difficult election cycle. Dear God, help us to see beyond ideologies and understand that we are all your children. Help us to find ways to talk, to compromise, to love each other. Heavenly God, and in that same light, help us find ways to understand that black lives do matter. But dear God, as, as, as Christians in this country, help us never to limit it to any one group, but rather help us to recognize that all groups who have been cast aside need to be welcomed in. And heavenly God, we pray for an end to this pandemic. We pray, dear God, that, that you would be with all of those on the front line and that you would protect them and care for them. You would be with those who are ill, providing them your healing power. Comfort those who have lost loved ones and be with those who are looking for vaccine cures. We pray all these things through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.